hi guys welcome to my channel and today i will be showing you guys how to make red sauce bois, which is red bean sauce okay stay tuned and let's see how we do this thing let's do it so here i got my red kidney beans okay and this is my nails you guys they look okay i had to tell the girl exactly what to do because she did not know how to do no nails you know i've told y'all i was trying to do nail tech she do not know how to do no nails y'all she is not artistic at all i had to tell her where to place every single one of my diamonds child who let me just say we ain't going to her again because baby she don't she she don't know what she doing okay huh all right now back to these beans all right so we're gonna go ahead the first thing i did was look over the beans to see if there was any rocks in them um or anything like that or any beans that look kind of raunchy so i could take them out because we don't need that then what we're gonna do we're gonna wash our beans you see i'm taking the beans in between my hand i'm scrubbing them to make sure that there's no dirt or nothing because depending on where you get the beans from sometimes they, they 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 might be a little bit dirty okay they might be a little bit a little bit dirty so then I got 56 ounces of water and I'm putting that in there two times, okay? And I will have the exact measurements for you in the description box below. I always tell you, have no fear, your girl Freddie is here. Yes, child. All right, so now I went ahead and I put some garlic and I put some green onion. I put a little bit of oil and I did go ahead and I let it boil, you guys. This is how it looks when it's done boiling. You see, I'm able to take my beans and I'm able to squeeze them and they just bust wide open. That means that it is ready to be blended. If they don't bust wide open like that when you try to press on them, you need to let them boil for a little bit longer, okay? And yes, I will have the time for you in the description box below on how long it took me to boil those beans, all right? So now that I'm done blending the beans, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strain them. So I'm basically going to put them in the strainer and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go like this to them until all the pulp and the water separate. Okay. All right. And then at the bottom of the strainer is going to be this thing left. It's called in Creole. It's called the ma. Okay, we don't need the ma. The ma is like the pulp. It's like orange juice. You know how you make orange juice and then they have like the, the pulp of the orange juice. That's what it is. It's like the, the pulp of the beans. And we don't need the pulp of the beans, so we're going to dispose the pulp of the beans. Okay, make sure you take all the juice from there at first. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to dispose the pulp of the beans. All right, because we no longer need that. Thank you very much for your services, but you are no longer needed. Have a nice day in the trash can. All right. All right. So this is how it looks all right this is how our bean sauce looks now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add our seasoning okay we're gonna go ahead we're gonna one cube of maggie which is chicken flavor bouillon we're gonna take some parsley and thyme that we tied up together we're gonna drop that in there all right we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take two tablespoons of butter we're gonna put that butter in there then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take some garlic powder we're gonna put one tablespoon of garlic powder we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take some onion powder i'm gonna put one tablespoon of onion powder and like i'll be telling you guys you have to remember onion powder garlic powder those are powders for flavor um for um to taste good it, it's for flavor but it's not seasoning there's it's not a salt based seasoning okay then i hit i went ahead and i added one teaspoon of adobo okay adobo is seasoning it's salt based seasoning okay it's for flavor it's not only for flavor but it's for salt too i hope you get it and if you don't get it then i don't know what to tell you friend because I, I explained it the best way that i can okay all right, so I went ahead and I put one teaspoon of um, um, salt in there. Then I went ahead and I put approximately, I say, two tablespoons of a piece. If you don't know how to make a piece, I will have a link in the description box on a video to show you how to make a piece, okay? Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to take some coconut milk, okay? And we're going to put the whole can of coconut milk in there. This is going to make it taste good. It's going to make it be all that, okay? And make sure the coconut milk is not the sweet coconut milk that you use for, for, for making juice. Don't do that because you're going to be very mad. Don't do that, okay? It's not supposed to be sweet, okay? All right. Then we have our bonnet pepper and we have our cloves. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take the clothes, we're going to stick it in there. And this is because we don't want the clothes to fall into the beans on its own. Because, baby, a clothing creole is called a jiwoff. And if you ever ate a jiwoff, you're going to know why you don't want that jiwoff in your food. Because that, ooh, that thing nasty. All right, so just do it like I told you because you don't want them problems, all right? Now, here's the sauce pot. As the sauce pot starts to boil, it's going to start to thicken up and thicken up, okay? Make sure you don't let it thicken up too much because once you turn it off, it's going to thicken up even a little bit more. So you want to make sure, like, the consistency is not too 
thick when you turn it off because if it's too thick when you turn it off it's gonna be even worse when it's sit there for a little bit okay you want it to be just like you see it right there all right boom and just like that you have it sauce poire rouge which is red bean sauce you guys and you eat this with white rice and whatever kind of meat you want on the side it don't get no better than that Hoot shot i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you thank you guys for watching don't forget to like don't forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe to my um, channel for more videos bye until next time